Hello and welcome back to my Sonic, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle Walkthrough. After the third missions, we go to fourth missions, obviously. And we begin the fourth missions with City Escape. These missions are pretty much the same as uh, first missions. They only have a time limit. But the score limit for A rank is the same. But you need to be a bit faster in some stages. Anyway, because I've already done this and uh, I wouldn't like showing this to you or boring you out of your mind, I try to do a bit of speedrunning here just to make this more interesting, while still getting enough points for EA rank. What I do may not be that recommended or easy, while this is fairly easy speedrunning still. Uh, I recommend sticking to the path shown in the first missions, or story walkthroughs. Because they're easier to pull off, and they grant you more points. And take this ramp, jump, do a few light dashes and get awesome. And thousand points for being awesome. Jump here to save time. And uh, get in invincibility for double points. At least that's what the manual says. But then again, manuals can't be trusted. Extreme! Okay, I heard this stage is being redone for G Sonic Generations and I saw the trailer, and I'm not that impressed, to be honest. I prefer the style of this game more, so I guess, guess that's kind of the reason for that. Sonic Unleashed uh, concept style gameplay isn't exactly my thing because it uh, requires less, less uh, input from the player because the game does something by itself. Cool. Yeah, it was cool, all right. And it's more cool than Sonic Generations version of the escape will be. Neither of them, classic or modern. Stage uh, next for Radical Highway, obviously. Which I point out obviously again. And the time limit is the same. So, yeah. Just do as you did in the uh, hero walkthrough. Uh, I mean, dark walkthrough when it comes to shadow. Because the time limit for this stage is so ridiculously high that uh, it really doesn't matter if you... Let's just say that if you get enough time bonus for EA rank, you will do this under 3 minutes. Anyway, so if you get the A rank, you pretty much do this under 3 minutes anyway, so this mission is kind of pointless. But I will show it anyway. Just because this is a 100% walkthrough. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, the fourth missions don't have checkpoints. Then again, why would you need checkpoints? Because if you die and start from a checkpoint, you will lose all your points, and therefore your chances to get the A rank. So, if you die, you have to restart anyway, so it's kind of pointless. But some people are not perfect to this no. And get a gold sentinel whenever you can, because it will give you a thousand points. Some of them are well, well hidden and uh, they will disappear after a while, so be quick. Unnecessary ramp there. And my babbling just. I don't know if you can even figure out what I'm saying. Oh well, 
just rush to the goal, there's nothing special here anyway. If you get 8000 time bonus, you will get the A rank. If you have collected, uh, gotten 7000 points or more. Which I have. Because the uh, score limit is 15000 in this stage. Ultimate victory. I wonder if shadow stages are being remade for Sonic Generations. Oh well. I hope they wouldn't remake Final Chase, that's just terrible. Oh anyway, as is this mission. When the third mission is don't hit other cars, the fourth mission is don't hit the walls. And that's kinda annoying. Because you're used to being able to hit the walls and sometimes they even guide you so you usually hit the walls, even on purpose sometimes. But this mission is just brutal. Anyway, staying in constant drift mode isn't a bad idea here anyway, because that way you can maneuver more easily. I'm getting closer. And if you want to boost, use the boosts carefully. Otherwise you will ram into walls and fail the mission. Even I have to slow down on this stage sometimes. And that's saying a lot. If there's a long straight ahead you can use the boost and there's nothing to worry about. However, using the boost in these tunnels is not recommended, because they're so unexpected and you can see what's coming if you're going at high speeds. Anyway, since I have nothing more to talk here and you can pretty much see everything from the video, I might as well talk about random stuff like Sonic Generations. So yeah, I'm more interested in the 3DS version because I really don't need a third unleashed game, so... Uh, also, I can take the 3DS with me, so I guess that kind of makes it easier for me to compete and speedrun it in different places and to get known to the levels. From what I've seen, the modern gameplay is though pretty much the same as Sonic Rushes. And the level design pretty much sucks. But I hope they do a better job with the other levels. And the Green Hill Zone level of the classic Sonic is exactly the same as the one in Sonic the Hedgehog, so that's kinda of disappointing too, but... As I said, I hope they do a better job with other levels. Though I don't know how that works out since... Sega has stated that in the 3DS version there will be stages from the portable portable games. From games like Sonic Advance, Sonic Rush or Sonic Rivals. And of course the Game Gear series is off limits, so yeah. That kinda sucks. Then again, not many people are familiar with the Game Gear games, so I guess it's kinda understandable. Oh yeah, this mission. This is the worst mission in the whole game. Well, I don't know. Maybe match bases some, uh, somewhere. Uh, well, well, never mind. However, I dislike this mission. Because this is even more brutal than the Tails mission. It's so brutal that it has taken me from uh, 
it has taken from me my ability to pronounce English or say it or form uh, uh, yeah see there's the proof this mission sucks and yeah you pretty much wanna do like I do in this video slow down at parts and by the way, if you slow down too much and start drifting to uh, hard turns, you will start, you will lose control, you will lose control and start spinning. So that sucks too, and you will most definitely hit a wall if that happens. So be careful. kinda of boring to watch and make commentary on. But I have pretty much nothing to say here. Sonic Generations is I'm not too impressed with it. If it was gameplay style like in this game, then I would be just going crazy and all but when it plays like Sonic Unleashed or Sonic Colors I I'm kinda of disappointed. God damn it what they have done to the cityscape music with their stupid remix. Why can't they use the music from the actual levels? At least the Sonic Adventure series because it has the best soundtrack of any Sonic game. I can't even decide which one is better. Oh, I heard that John Sinoe is doing at least a soundtrack for the 3DS version, which is good news for me. I don't know about the other version. I'm kinda su surprised how good sound quality the 3DS has when compared to the regular DS. I'm impressed by the 3DS. And I might get it at some point. Anyway, that's that mission, and now after this mission we have 100 emblems. Not that special milestone, but still kinda cool. So that's a great way to end the video.